our guest at this time to promote their new album, Bryozoa of Phylogeny. Ladies and gentlemen, The Willettes! So tell us about your new album. It's been a decade since your last release. Why are you guys making a comeback album about Bryozoa? Uh, well, again, during our hiatus, we were fortunate enough to live in India, devoting our time to meditation and self-reflection in hopes of finding a new sound for our band. One day, the Maharishi invited us to participate in this new form of meditation, which he called marine meditation. And we were very skeptical at first because it involved scuba diving off the coast of the Indian Ocean. And basically what happened is we studied the marine life living there, which included Brazoa. And we were so enthralled by this very diverse uh, phylum and the species in it that we decided to make an album. Yeah, bryozoa have been around for 480 million years, and they're colony animals that grow from between a centimeter to about a meter long. They start off as a single zoid, which are the individual organisms that make up the colonies. They also contain lophophores, which are like tentacle-like filtration appendages. This makes them very unique and interesting to study. Um, in addition, bryozoa can be found practically anywhere in the world from freshwater to brackish water to pretty much any marine ecosystem. Fascinating. Yes, and as you can see by the phylogenetic tree on the album cover, the phylum bryozoa is a very diverse species. There are over 10,000 living bryozoan species. The phylum is commonly divided into three classes. Phylactolemata, which are freshwater bryozoans that do not have zoid polymorphism. Stenolemata, which are marine bryozoans that grow tubular zoids that produce calcium shells. And from this class, there are five main subgroups, Treptostomata, Cystoparata, Cryptostomata, Fenestrata, and Cyclostomata. Lastly, the third class, Gymnolemata, which are mostly marine as well, have cylindrical or flattened zoids. These consist of the majority of bryozoans and are divided into two subgroups, Centostomata and Chilostomata. I could go on and on about bryozoans. And on the back here, we've created uh, phylogenetic trees from 16S rRNA sequences and from character matrix, both of which we created at LMU in Bio 111. There are many differences between the two, most notably the placement of Enchinodermata in relation to bryozoa. Uh, on the character matrix tree, Enchinodermata evolved separately from bryozoa and the tax and the taxa that evolved from this most recent common ancestor. Whereas on the 16S tree, Brazoa evolved separately. Uh, Brazoa have also been notoriously difficult to place on a tree of life in the past. Um, in a tree from literature which we found, Brazoa's placement is distinguished by the presence of a lophophore. So they have been grouped in their own clade uh, with the taxa that also contain lophophores. Oh, they truly do sound like you just worth making an album about. Yes, but despite how intriguing and incredibly diverse they are, most people have never heard of bryozoa. Its nickname, the mossy animal, is so foreign to most people. <laughs> it's certainly foreign to me. <laughs> well, should people know more about bryozoa? What do they do for us? How, what use do they have to humans? Well, honestly, bryozoa aren't particularly useful to humans. Historically, bryozoa have had no economic value. Although a marine species called Belugula neurotina is the host of a bacteria that manufactures bryophosphine, a natural production of tumor-reducing properties, which is currently in a critical, a, <laughs> sorry, a clinical trial. Wow, that's incredible. We just hope to spread bryozoan awareness with this album and make people appreciate bryozoa with as much enthusiasm as we do. Well, thank you for coming to our show. It's been very informative. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Here to present their new single off the new album, Brazo A Phylogeny, on sale in the Apple stores and in stores now. Everybody, the Willettes. You might be wondering what an animal is. Something swimming in the sea. And living in the ocean free. We stick together making mossy spots. I'm just a bryozoa so living here, consuming food through my loaf of floor. Hide it, hide it. So parts of water coming into me, retaining nutrients while being me. Hide it. Bye, Lateral.
beautiful symmetry that is I. We reproduce in many ways, asexually and sexually. No circulatory system or gas exchange. To seek a music got a nameness. No excretory system here. Two cell layers, tissues, and organs. Nervous system, central ganglion. With a circumosophageal ring. We're living life in aquatic places. Three types of bryozoa in there. Phylactostendo gymnolemata. I'm just a bryozoa living here. Consuming food through my lawful pore. I eat it. I eat it. Me and my buddies colonizing rocks. We stick together making mossy spots. We chillin'. We chillin'. Bilateral symmetry, that is I. We reproduce in many ways, asexually and sexually.